In this video, which is part of the 10-part limited video series about the market manifest, all the components and techniques and tactics you could use to go from being a good investor to a great investor, and some of the best parts are in this very video. And none of it should be considered personalized trading advice for you. I always tell you to embrace your mistakes. We're all gonna make mistakes. I've made more than my share, I've pigged out. We're all gonna make a lot of mistakes. But I think you should embrace them because in every mistake, there's a learning opportunity and you learn more from your mistakes than you do from your successes. Consider every mistake a part of your education in a long and volatile path which is leading you to investment clarity and consistent success. You will learn more from errors than successes. That is true in life and in the stock market especially. Find your style. Learn who you are in the investing world to really jump to the next level. Maybe you'd make a great day trader. Maybe you'd make an excellent researcher or analyst. Maybe you're best at speaking to executives on the phone. We each have our specific advantages, specific talents. You figure out what yours are and make sure that that's what you're using as your talisman as you get into this investing world. Buy the rumor, sell the fact. You've heard about this. Buy the rumor, sell the news. It's said many different ways. The point is, when there's a widely known and understood event going to happen for a company investors know about it and they start driving the prices higher they're trying to get the benefit from the change in share price when the company comes out with this news that they're working on or the accomplishment happens or they report the really strong financial results that everybody was expecting if it's widely known and it's going to make a big difference in the share price a lot of times that opens up the possibility of a buy the rumor sell the fact event where the share price climbs dramatically higher because everyone's buying in and trying to get ahead of this announcement or this event and then when it actually happens what happens to the stock price it tumbles down because there's no more buyers and there's a lot of people who are holding the shares waiting for something to happen to get the benefit of the profit from the jump and then when the news comes out and the jumps already happened and you see the designing driver for higher share prices that's what a lot of investors will now realize they didn't obtain the profits they want and they start selling the shares. And that often leads to a deluge of selling pressure and the share price tumbles. The best example of this ever that you might have been around for is when Sirius Satellite Radio merged with XM Satellite Radio. The share price went up a lot. They said, well, there's no more competition. There's just a two companies becoming one. And I always liken it to two piles of dirt being swept together, so it's a bigger pile of dirt. But the share price climbed pretty strongly for a long time leading up to the merger. When they finally merged, the share price dropped about 85%. I don't remember the exact number, but it just collapsed from that point going forward. That's the best example of a buy the rumor, sell the fact event I've ever seen in my entire career. This video is inspired by the following testimonial. This is from Sean. I'm a very happy lifetime subscriber and I wish I stuck with Peter when I first found him in 2004. Only trust yourself. In the stock market, your list of who to trust and who to rely on and who to blame for mistakes or congratulate for helpful advice should have only your name on it. That's your list. You trust yourself. You rely on yourself. You blame yourself or congratulate yourself for every trade you make. It should only be you. Think of it that way. It'll make a massive difference in your investing approach. It all comes down to you. You are the only common denominator. A lot of people use different programs. A lot of people learn things from different sources of information. A lot of people have different mindsets about investing. You are the only, only, only consistent thing in this entire world of investing that you're jumping into. I always talk about your custom advantage. If you are a medical worker, you might do better investing in medical companies. If you're an oil rig worker, you might know more about investing in oil. You have certain information that you know about working on the oil rig that a lot of people who are investors only read about in the newspaper and might not even be privy to. Whatever you do, if you're a photographer, a police officer, a dentist, whatever you do, you have something you do that is your passion maybe and at very least it's your focus or your career you know more about that career than 95 percent of people out there so you have an advantage in that specific industry or business so when you go to get into investing if you're a newer investor or even if you're already an investor and you want to learn how to do it better think about it that way what do you know more about than your co-workers your friends your family what is your speciality 
This is so important and people always think that I'm being disingenuous because my company sells stock picks through the world famous stock pick newsletter at peterleads.com. But I always tell you guys, do not trust free stock picks. That's the number one rule, especially when you get involved with the lower price stocks. There's a lot of hidden motivations. A lot of people trying to talk up the shares of a company or lie, talking about how great the company is to try and get the share price higher. If someone wants to manipulate the price of a company, they typically do that through giving out free information, talking about how great that company or that stock is going to do. Why are they doing that? Have you ever asked yourself that? Why is this publication come to you that you're reading and it says, this company is going to do so great? What do they care about how your investments turn out? They don't. They're trying to manipulate you to buy the shares of the stock. And when you have a product that lives and dies based on how well we do with the information we put out, such as a paid for stock pick newsletter, we have to do well. We have to keep your interest first. And we would do that no matter what anyways, but we keep your interest first because if we don't do a good job for you guys, the business withers on the vine. We have to perform. We have to provide a great quality product that helps you out a lot. Free stock picks don't need to do that. They need to manipulate you to try and trick you out of the money that's in your pocket right now. And we've got another video in the 10 part limited video series which starts right here right now. Just click that video.